Hi guys, welcome to how to with yet another video. In this video, I'll show you how to speed up your Windows 10 PC. First, go to Task Manager, and on this Processes tab, you can actually see how much of your RAM is being consumed by these applications that's currently running on your PC in the background as well as the applications that you are using. Then, switch to the Startup tab. Then here you can control all the applications that starts at the booting. You may not want many of these applications to load at the startup. That can actually consume a lot of memory. So just if you don't want some of these applications to run at the startup, simply right click and, and disable or enable. Which are the applications you want to disable, just disable them. So then close that then it's better to keep your desktop clean this way also you can actually uh, speed up your computer then use a uh, defragmentation and you can actually uh, get this from here go to D and you can actually see this D F R G U I see or simply type in D F R G U I okay you can actually get this and from here choose this C drive and click optimize you can also configure this application to auto defragment your computer so uh, from here you can actually set up the uh, optimization schedule uh, weekly or monthly or daily so you can do that so it's better to uh, defragment your computer once in a week at least that's it then next thing you could do is just uh, right click on your start button then go to control panel and go to system and system then click advanced system settings then from here switch to advanced and go to settings then from here go to advanced then click change from here Uncheck this automatically manage paging file size for all drivers. Uncheck this. Uh, by default, it's checked. So uncheck this. Then choose system managed size and click OK. I've already done that, so I don't need to do that again. Then apply. Then click OK. You will need to reboot your computer. Take these changes effect. So then click the settings again. Uh, switch to the visual effects. And from here choose custom by default this is option Windows uh, chooses for you adjust for best performance so what you could do is choose custom and uh, uncheck some of the feature that you think you don't want for example like show shadows under Windows or uh, animations in the taskbar you could actually disable some of the features that you think you don't want and this way you can actually save your memory okay then click apply then click ok that could also uh, help you boost the performance of your PC and another thing you could do is just click search and type in MS config click ok click enter switch to boot then click advanced option then uncheck this maximum memory then click ok then that's also an option to try on your computer then uh, another thing you could do is yeah in most cases people do mistakes by having a uh, lots of tabs working in the background uh, especially on browsers like uh, Firefox and Chrome the Chrome is very well known for consuming lots of memory all right the so Firefox is not uh, bad either so actually you can see that now Firefox uh, uses about one gigabytes of memory that's because uh, I have lots of tabs pinned here and I I actually use most of them but it used to be even worse because uh, I use Firefox tab groups however the tab groups have been uh, removed from Firefox but you can still have this feature on Firefox if you have tab groups it's better to move all these tab groups to bookmarks and this way you can actually save a lot of memory on your computer so if you want to bookmark a tab group just right click and bookmark all tabs and this way you can bookmark you can even create a bookmark folder especially named after these tab groups 
So that's the one way you could save uh, memory if you have lots of tabs on your Firefox. And if you have relatively low memory and you still want to use multiple tabs, I recommend using uh, the browser uh, Vivaldi. It's really a new browser with uh, lots of old Opera feature. Actually, what it offers is that if you have multiple tabs, you can right click on one of the tab and hibernate all the background tabs. This way, if you want to run any programs, other programs like Photoshop or video editing software or any other software uh, simultaneously, you can actually keep one tab running while the other background tabs in hibernate mode. So this way you can actually save a lots of memory. So for example, I'll show you what happens. So here, here you can see that it's about 88 percentage memory, yeah? Then if I right click and hibernate background tabs, you can see it's coming down. See that? It's now 84. You could actually save uh, some memory like this. So this is a really cool feature because it, this browser doesn't consume that much. Now you can see it's now 79 percentage. So it could go even down, you know, now it's 76. See that? All the tabs are on hibernate mode. So it doesn't consume that much memory now, right now. That's really cool, right? Then another thing you could do is close all the programs that you don't want. And it's also recommended to keep your desktop clean. If you have lots of uh, programs on your desktop, like shortcuts and these kinds of things, it could also slow down your PC. So it's recommended to clean up your desktop. Just it's better to go to start and start your program rather than keeping all the shortcuts on your desktop. It's also recommended to clean your recycle bin. So this way you can actually uh, speed up your PC. Finally, you should install clean mum application. This application actually helps you clean the system caches and also memory. This application also offers a small monitor. If you click this, you can see that on the right side of your computer. So here you can see the how much memory your computer is using right now. Okay, and if you right click, you have several options here and clean memory now or clean file cache now then show file cache info and show memory info show process info show hide monitor these kinds of options you can also set up the application to auto clean the file cache so to set up just go to the application uh, under c uh, clean mom okay then click clean mom settings and click start and enable this feature uh, clear system file cache then next what you could do is uh, enable this one if you want to review the log file just enable that as well leave it by default then click next and then finish then it will auto clean file cache so you can also clean the memory or caches file cache from here and I'll show you how it changes the memory usage. Now it's about 69 percentage. So that's really re relatively uh, low because I'm right now running multiple applications and it's still just 69 percentage of the memory. So it wasn't like this, it used to be even worse. But since I installed this clean mem application and also moved all the tab groups that were on my uh, Firefox browser to bookmarks, it changed uh, the performance of PZ a lot and lot. The Firefox used to consume about 1.5 gigabytes of memory on my computer. Then after moving all these background tabs to bookmarks, it changed a lot. Now my PC is very fast in response and doesn't consume that much memory. So next thing I'll show you what happens when you uh, clean the memory. Now you can see that uh, it's now 70 percentage, yeah, right? Now if you want to see the file cache, click show file cache. It's about 20 MB, that's not that much. 
the, when there was you no know, this application it used to be like uh, 200 mb or something like that and what to say that used to consume a lot of memory on my computer then right click and clean memory now and you can see it's going down see that 68 66 65 so this way you can actually speed up your PC especially if you want to run applications like Photoshop and video editing tools simultaneously you may want to use this feature that's how you speed up your Windows 10 PC or any Windows PC then if you're using Windows 10 PC and have all the version of your drivers uh, that could also cause some problems like uh, consuming lots of memory so in that case you will have to update your all uh, drivers to the newer version okay these are the some tweakings that you could try on your pc to improve your pc performance i hope this helps if you find this helpful please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more videos tips and tricks like this thanks for watching